Hey guys, it's John from Album Review TV. Time for a review of the new Portugal The Man album titled Evil Friends. Now, you might be wondering, what is different about this record than Portugal The Man's past six releases? This already their seventh album, and they've only been around since 2004. This time around, they've decided to work with the legendary producer Brian Burton. Now, John, who is Brian Burton? Well, you might know him by a different name or different involvement, and that is Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse has been involved with Broken Bells, Gnarls Barkley, and you might also know him as the person who produced Grammy Award winning Black Keys album El Camino, or else Nora Jones' Little Broken Hearts. So, he's been all over the place, honestly. His spectrum is very wide, and every time he gets involved in a project, I feel like it gets so much better. It's like when the band hits their peak, or when the artist hits their peak because he really helps bands find their sound. And with Portugal the Man, he's really helping fine tune their psychedelic rock feel. And on Evil Friends, there is just a frenzy of just fuzzed out guitars, like acoustic mixed over like synth beats, and it's just layered so well. And some people I can see being a little bit, you know, like alienated by this, but honestly, I see this as the perfect, perfect move for Portugal the Man to take their sound to this whole new level. The first taste we got from this record is the two singles, Evil Friends and, of course, Purple, Yellow, Red, and Blue. And with Evil Friends, the first time I heard that title track from this record, I was a little bit, you know, weirded out by it. It starts off slow and then it kind of starts shifting gears and then progresses into something that's a little bit more upbeat and faster paced and just kind of caught me off guard, but I love it. It's got these fuzzed out guitars, a little bit of a guitar solo going on all over the place instrumentally, and I love the lyrics. And it actually includes lyrics on this track, especially in the intro. It actually has tracks that throw back to the previous song on the record, which is Creep in a T-Shirt. Creep in a T-Shirt is my overall favorite on this album. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now before I even get into anything else. It could possibly be my favorite Portugal the Man song to date. This song is just, uh, holy shit. It starts off with this banging piano melody and it really drives the song into the first verse. The guitar work throughout this song is just impeccable and it's something that I'm totally on board with. It's got an energetic vocal performance, which is something that's a little bit new, I feel like. I love some of Portugal the Man's past stuff, but a lot of it was a little bit too slow and just out there for me to truly get into. But this is finely tuned psychedelic rock and experimental rock and alternative music just combined and taken to a whole new level. Creep in a t-shirt, the melodies on this track are just produced so well. The chorus is where the song truly takes off. A barrage of instruments, including some synth work in the middle of this chorus. A brass section comes in in parts of the song, which sounds awesome. That's going to show up several times throughout this record. I just love the way this album was done. So many instruments pop up everywhere throughout this record. And that brass section with all those instruments come in. You're going to hear these fuzzed out guitars and cool little guitar solos mixed in, acoustic loops and synths bouncing all over the place. It's really just a cool thing to listen to. Like I said, the singles were actually a really good taste and good like feel for the rest of the album that they released. Purple, Yellow, Red, and Blue is one that makes a good use of the synthesizers once again, something that happens several times throughout this record, especially like on Modern Jesus, another one of my favorites on this record. But on Purple, Yellow, Red, and Blue, it once again continues the themes of just wanting to be evil, and I think that's funny the way they did it and incorporated it into so many songs on this record. Like it or not, this track in particular is pretty damn catchy and it takes the band's sound and psychedelic sound really to this whole new level. Now there's definitely other great songs on this record. Modern Jesus is one that I was really excited to hear because I actually heard a preview of it and then I was like, I really want to get into this song. I can already tell that this is something I will probably like. Hip Hop Kids is another example of that. Those two right there coming like one right after another, Modern Jesus, Hip Hop Kids, Great one-two punch right there, right in the middle of the album. It fits perfectly and helps keep this thing moving forward. Modern Jesus starts with this bumping synth line and some doo-doo-doo style vocals, and I love how the song carries these dark overtones that the majority of the record holds, but it's also got this kind of upbeat feel to it at the same time, so it's kind of like an oxymoron, but at the same time, it's really awesome. It's one of the catchiest choruses on this entire record, and even if I don't agree with the lyrical content that it's really putting out, the song definitely hits its peak around the 230 mark and just mixes in a few new sounds that really take this track to a whole new level and a whole new playing field.
Now what I was saying with Hip Hop Kids coming so perfectly after Modern Jesus, it starts off with this and it just, I don't know, it mixes in all these new sounds. It's got that light acoustic guitar that really opens it up. It mixes in a swoosh of like guitars and fuzziness, breaking into a song that's filled with lyrics that kind of reference other tracks on this record and like Holy Roller is actually mentioned on this track and another thing I love about this record is the cross-referencing done like tracks relate to other tracks and they're referenced to each other throughout the song and even lyrics and different styles are shown like in some certain tracks on this record like Evil Friends referencing of course Creep in a T-shirt Hip Hop Kids referencing Holy Roller Hallelujah and Smile, the closing track going back and referencing so many other tracks on the record. There are those tracks that kind of like take a break and just throw things off for a little bit. Sea of Air and Waves is a nice little change of pace in the, near the end of the album. Sea of Air is a nice taste of that slower side of Portugal the Man and we see the fact that it still manages to surprise by breaking in that brass section right in the middle of the song and waves kind of throws off this distant and yearning vibe it's something that i'm really connecting to right now it's got some light piano and soft guitar that kind of mixes with these lyrics that i see speaking of how people just don't exactly enjoy the little things in life they tend to overlook things and that's what i'm getting from this song then of course we've got Atomic Man, which continues the feel that really the rest of the album brings, and while maybe not the most standout track on the record, I still love it. And then of course I can't forget Plastic Soldiers and Holy Roller Hallelujah. Those two songs right there are two of the best on the record. Plastic Soldiers starts off this album with a blast of brass and acoustics that drew me into this song and album immediately. I was a little bit caught off guard. The echoed vocal style really made the song flow, and as it changes tempo a bit, it blossoms into this amazing psychedelic tune that never really gets too hard to access for the average listener, but it's also going to please longtime fans, I think. And then, of course, we got Holy Roller Hallelujah, which feels a little bit poppy, but at the same time, it's really fun. And those pop elements infused with like the psychedelic rock feel just make it just this awesome and incredible building track once it gets to the chorus it's one of the easily one of the catchiest and most fun choruses on this record his voice hits this whole new level and it's just irresistible to me once again on holy roller we've got these peppy drum beats some key action and it moves into the one of the catchiest songs on the record like i said lightly played keys and feel good acoustic guitars fuzzed out electric guitars with a variety of instruments popping up once again I, I don't know what to say other than don't miss out on this gem right here overall i am in love with this album way more than i expected to be definitely just kind of blew me away even on first listen this record is irresistible to me danger mouse you really helped this band take it to a whole new level and the band did a great job just doing what they do best and making psychedelic rock and alternative rock and a little bit of everything it's a five out of five for me this is the second perfect score i've awarded this year so Congratulations to Portugal the Man. I was in a bit of a rut there with like, you know, getting into like some albums and Queens of the Stone Age and Portugal the Man really turned that around for me. Two albums recently that I've really, really been into. So I hope you guys will check out this album if you have not. If you've heard it, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. Or if you're planning to check it out or if you have a request for an upcoming album, let me know in the comments down below as well. Make sure you check out all the links down below. My comedy channel, which has been relaunched, is down there. My website and, of course, Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for watching your home for music news and reviews, Album Review TV. I will see you guys very soon.